You're going to Ibiza. Whoa, you all prepped for Ibiza, love. Just sorting out my uh, euros, ordering my euros. Go pick them up later on, love. Up and off to Ibiza, yes. But whilst he's swanning off, we've been cleaning, working till six. It's 4 p.m. and now it's weeding time. And we even got his parents over doing it with me, bless him. It's always funny what people see online compared to what the reality is behind the scenes. The ultimate beauty in the chaos. Oh yes, having five to ten kids at home, depending on the day, working, cleaning, FaceTiming our Danny whilst he's getting tanned up in Ibiza working with LDC. Not that we're jealous at all that he's raving, um, but we've been baking going off to Scarborough on a bus which took about five hours and the kids have had their hair cut ready for school and we've also all got a virus so we have to have a day in but now we're back on the road again as Danny would say and Danny has been flying home after an epic week in Ibiza so we thought we'd wind him up and pretend we've been using his car Back on the road again today. I've got my mate Becky with me. How are you doing, Danny? How's it been? So thanks for the loan of your car, darling. It's fabulous. Uh, yeah. Well, I've said if you don't mind to Becky that she can borrow your car just because she's taking us to afternoon tea. And I said you don't like me catching buses, so yeah, we'd hate to turn up in my car. We've got to look the part. Fortunately for Danny, if we didn't borrow his car. I took the bus. Becky drove her car. And job was a good one as we had a lovely afternoon tea with Athena, of course, thanks to Frida Shafi at Agra in Leeds. Anyway, it was time for Danny to travel back from Manchester to Wakefield. And he's home safe and sound, so all services to resume as usual. 